हेलो गाइस आई एम समकेत जैन अ मेडिकल स्टूडेंट एट विनेसा नेशनल मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी एंड आई एम एन इंस्पायरिंग माइंड स्टूडेंट एंड हेयर आई एम विद अ न्यू वीडियो ऑफ माय एनाटॉमी सीरीज विद द टॉपिक ब्लड वेसल्स ऑफ द पाम और पाल्मर आर्चेस फॉर मोर सच वीडियोस यू कैन सब्सक्राइब टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो फॉलो अस ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एट इंस्पायरिंग माइंड कोचिंग नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई सेड दैट योर एक्जिलरी आर्टरी continues as your brachial artery at the lower border of teres major now for the time being just remember that brachial artery it further divides into your radial artery and your ulnar artery though there are many more branches of brachial artery but for the time being just remember that it divides also divides into your radial artery and ulnar artery now let me just tell you the course of radial artery that how does it enter your palm this is your anterior forearm radial artery will come straight suppose here is somewhere your flexor retinaculum radial artery will go straight first of all but now to enter the palm it will not cross the flexor retinaculum it will turn back instead it will not go straight or cross the flexor retinaculum to enter your palm it will turn back instead now if it is here going straight it it is not going it is not crossing your flexor retinaculum to enter the palm it is turning back and it is crossing your snuff box now here is your snuff box so it is crossing your snuff box and your first dorsal interossei and then it is entering your palm so let's suppose that here is your palm here is your flexor retinaculum here is your snuff box now if this is your radial artery coming it is not crossing the flexor retinaculum it is not turning back crossing your snuff box and your first dorsal interossei first dorsal interossei and now it is forming a arch that is known as deep palmar arch so a deep palmar arch that is dpa is formed by your radial artery right now if something is deep then there must be something superficial to it for that we have a superficial palmar arch that superficial palmar arch is formed by your ulnar artery now ulnar artery will cross your flexor retinaculum radial artery was not crossing your flexor retinaculum it was crossing your snuff box instead but ulnar artery will cross the flexor retinaculum and now it will form a arch known as superficial palmar arch spa superficial palmar arch by ulnar artery now let's talk about the branches of these arches your radial artery it will give off a branch to supply your thumb known as princeps pollicis artery as the name suggests princeps that is principal pollicis pollicis your thumb it is the principal artery supplying your thumb that is princeps pollicis artery princeps pollicis artery that will further divide into two branches to supply both the sides of your thumb now deep palmar arch or radial artery also gives off a branch to supply the radial side of your index finger see each finger has two sides remember that radius is your lateral bone and ulna is a medial bone so we call them as either radial side or ulnar side 
or lateral side your medial side so suppose if this is my index finger my index finger has both radial side and ulnar side similarly middle finger radial side ulnar side ring finger radial side ulnar side similarly little finger radial side and ulnar side so deep palmar arch is giving an artery is giving a branch just to supply the radial side of your little, uh, index finger therefore this artery is known as radialis indices artery therefore the artery supplying the radial side of your index finger now what about the other fingers to supply the other fingers your superficial palmar arch will give up three branches known as common digital artery i am just writing c here we have common digital artery these common digital arteries will further give two branches each artery will give two branches to supply both the sides of your fingers similarly this one will also give two branches and these branches are known as proper digital arteries so common digital arteries are further dividing into your proper digital arteries to supply both the sides of your fingers that is radial and ulnar sides of your fingers but now you can still see that the medial or the ulnar side of your little finger is left to supply this your superficial palmar arch only gives of a different branch it gives us different branch to supply the medial side or ulnar side of your little finger and this branch is also known as proper digital artery though it is coming at a separate branch but it is known as proper digital artery only now there must be anastomosis between these two palmar arches right we know radial artery is forming deep palmar arch and ulnar artery is forming superficial palmar arch so how will the anastomosis take place now what will happen that your ulnar artery that is the superficial palmar arch will give a deep branch to anastomose with the radial artery and your deep palmar arch or your radial artery will give a superficial branch to anastomose with your ulnar artery therefore if this is your deep palmar artery and your deep palmar artery will give of a branch to supply to anastomose with your superficial palmar arch and the important point is that you can see that this superficial branch of deep palmar arch this is the superficial branch of deep palmar arch has crossed the flexor retinaculum it has crossed the flexor retinaculum and now it is anastomosing with your superficial palmar arch similarly your superficial palmar arch will give a deep branch it will give a deep branch to anastomose with your to anastomose with your deep palmar arch so let's just label everything this is your deep branch of superficial palmar arch and here we have your superficial branch of your deep palmar arch so this was about your palmar arches let's just revise everything quickly so your brachial artery divides into your radial artery and ulnar artery radial artery will go straight initially but it will not cross the flexor retinaculum instead it will turn back it will cross your snuff box here it will cross your snuff box and then it will form your deep palmar arch and it will also cross your first dorsal interosseae similarly your ulnar artery will now cross your flexor retinaculum your ulnar artery will cross your flexor retinaculum 
and then it will cause uh, form your superficial palmar arch your deep palmar arch further gives off a branch to supply your thumb known as princeps pollicis artery that further divides into two branches to supply both the sides of the thumb it will also give off a branch to supply the radial side of your index finger known as radialis indicis artery now to supply rest of your fingers your superficial palmar arch will give further common digital arteries that will divide into your proper digital arteries to supply both sides of your fingers but still your medial side of your little finger is left to supply that your superficial palmar arch will give a direct branch that is also known as your proper digital artery only now to anastomose with each other your deep palmar arch will give a superficial palmar branch that will cross the flexor retina column the important point is that your radial artery is not crossing the flexor retina column but its superficial branch is crossing the retina column similarly your uh, superficial palmar arch will give a deep branch to anastomose with your deep palmar arch so this was about your palmar arches thank you so much for more such videos you can subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on instagram at inspiring minds coaching thank you